hey guys i'm saurav and in this video i will be talking about seven mistakes that a beginner photographer should avoid now if you are a beginner photographer or you're new into photography you might make some mistakes unintentionally because of which you might not get good images so this video is exactly for you guys this video will cover the mistakes and also how to rectify them so without wasting any time let's get started The first mistake is using incorrect focusing modes. Imagine you have a beautiful subject, you have a beautiful composition, but the subject is not in focus. What's the point of taking the image, right? And most of the times the subject is not in focus because of using incorrect focusing modes. Now there are different auto focusing modes for different situations. In my video about mastering the DSLR, I cover the auto focusing modes and what auto focusing modes should you use in what situations. Now suppose the subject is stationary, using a continuous auto focusing mode doesn't make sense. Whereas when the subject is continuously moving, it makes sense because you have to track the subject continuously. So you have to use different auto focusing modes to make sure that the subject is in focus all the time. So next time you go to shoot, make sure you analyze the subject and the situation and you choose the correct focusing modes. The next mistake is setting up a tripod before framing and composing the shot. Now most of the times what happens is you go to a location, you take out the tripod and you set it up and then you lock the camera. Now you start taking images, but the thing is you have already locked the position of the camera. You have not framed it, you have not composed it. And now if you want to change the camera's position and the composition, it's difficult because it's already locked and you don't have the same level of flexibility. That is why what I do is I go to the location, I take the camera and I shoot some images handheld with different framing and different composition. Then once I'm happy with the composition, then I use the tripod. So I am sure that I am using a tripod but at the same time I am getting a good composition because I did the composition part and the framing part before setting up a tripod. This is a very small tip but a very useful one. Even I used to do this mistake as a beginner but now since I know this mistake and I know how to rectify it, it solves the problem. The next mistake is not adjusting the manual settings. Now most of the times what happens is you adjust the manual settings for a particular light condition. And then when you change the position of your camera or maybe there is more light coming later, the exposure is not proper. So you have to make sure that you're always checking your light meter and you're always adjusting the manual settings to get a proper exposure. Most of the beginners, what they do is they take the image and later if it's bright or dark, they try to fix it in post processing. A bit of flexibility is there in post-processing if you're shooting in RAW, but if you want to get the best image quality, you have to make sure that you're getting a proper exposure in camera. Then when you post-process the images, you will get better images. The next mistake is not exposing for highlights. This is a mistake that mostly will happen when you're shooting something which has a very high dynamic range. So if you have very bright highlights and very dark shadows and if you expose for the shadows, you will get details in the shadows but the highlights will be blown out. And once the highlights are blown out, you can't fix it in post-processing. So whenever you're exposing, make sure you're exposing for highlights. Now most of the times people ask me, sort of what do you mean by expose for highlights? What I mean is point your camera towards the highlights or towards the sky if you have it and then expose for the sky. Make sure the sky is properly exposed, meaning it's not too dark or it's not too bright. And then you take the image with the original composition. So now the highlights are in focus and you also have got a good composition. Later you can obviously expose the shadows in post-processing. But since it was not possible with highlights, that's why you have to expose for the highlights. The next mistake that the beginner photographer does is not focusing on composition. Now, many of the beginner photographers focus a lot on camera settings, cameras, lenses, but they forget that the light and composition is the most important thing in photography because that is what is going to help the viewer tell the story and that's what matters at the end of the day, right? And that is why composition is extremely essential. As a beginner photographer, you have to learn the different composition techniques. I have a separate in-depth video about composition where I talk about different composition techniques. So once you know all the composition techniques and you try to incorporate them in your images, you will see your images are looking much better than it was before just by changing the composition a bit. 
So next time make sure when you're shooting, spend some time in composing the images and get better images. The next mistake is not using a foreground element. Again, this one is related to composition. So the image you take is a 2D image, right? And to add depth, you need some kind of foreground. And most of the times adding a foreground element will solve the issue. When you're shooting landscapes using a rock or using a tree, sometimes can be very useful as a foreground element. You can use different things. Not only in landscape, but also in portrait photography, you can maybe use a tree or something. Right now, if you see, I'm using this particular tree as a foreground element, but I have intentionally kept it out of focus so that it adds a bit of depth. You can do this in portrait photography as well. So adding a foreground element will add depth to your images and it will obviously look much more interesting than before. The last but not the least is overprocessing the images. Now I've seen many beginner photographers, they just tend to overprocess the images. Maybe the images are not right in camera and that is why I said if you want to get the best quality image, get it right in camera. Overprocessing the images will just you know destroy the natural feel of the image and you don't have to do that. Processing is something that is going to complement the images. Get a good image, processing will help the good image look better. Don't overprocess. don't increase the contrast and saturation so much that the image looks fake. Okay, make sure you're processing the images so that the image has better contrast and has better color, but at the same time also looks natural. So these were the seven tips that you should avoid as a beginner photographer. If this video helped you, press the like button. If you love the content and want more such content, press the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.